subhanallah that's the best place to spend your nafli sadaqat and zakat as well people come to us and they say we want to do sadaqah jariyah can you put fine in the masjid or oh, this, this and that that's it fine is going to work next one month or two months that's it your sadaqah jariyah is gone it's going to come off and it's going to go in the bin in the skip the best sadaqah jariyah is you make someone an alim deen so someone wants to learn knowledge you pay for his expenses like in pakistan i asked someone how much you have to spend i think it's 3 or 4 lakhs basically 2000 pound or 3000 pound for his 6 year dars and nizami course pay for, for for his all expenses or you can do monthly installments as, as well or you can pay one off payment and that's a you pay now you imagine that person will be standing on the mic teaching people teaching his children when he died your sadaqah jariya is not free because all the children he made uh, ulama now your sadaqah jariya till the day of judgment is going to carry on and on and on it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger why because he taught and let's say uh, students he got 10 students then 10 students got 100 students then 100 students got 1000 students pay your zakat money to that person who have separated his life who have separated himself from this dunya and just learning knowledge because it is not easy learning knowledge at the same time you working as well especially for young children 17 or 18 years old so if he's a gareeb again if he's poor and he's not doing no job that's why you can pay for him it doesn't matter his dad has got 3 mercedes or got lot of money he is adult now his account is different and his dad's account is different according to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you can pay him because he wants to go and learn knowledge best way to spend your nafli sadaqah and your zakat as well and your fitrana when fitrana comes inshallah we'll talk about that